welcome back to the channel. Today I had the feeling I need to create something, but I didn't know what, so I'm just gonna give you a POV sequence of me going downtown and taking some street photography. I haven't done that in like ages. I haven't been downtown taking photos like in forever. So today I'm gonna give you a POV. Let's hope for some nice colors. You can see we still have some here. So let's hope for the best. Okay, so we're starting off with the Sony a7 III and the Tamron 28 to 75 millimeter lens on. The Tamron lens is probably the best for its price as a overall lens is a f2.8, so it's really, really good. And the fact that I have the cropping possibility to just crop in with a press of the bottom, so I get a little bit more focal length to it. We are here at Turner Lahti and unfortunately it's a bit windy, so this is not Full is still, but I think we can manage to get a cool picture with some flowers on the foreground. Going ISO 100, of course, and f2.8 and 1 over 400 shutter speed. Yep. Actually, fun fact that house right over there. I took a picture like I took a picture like four years ago probably. Around the same time, maybe a little earlier, we had some nice, nicer color on that, but that picture is printed in this cool, really big on a wall. That's pretty cool. Not sure if you can see the light coming out of the library, but that looks amazing and we got a tree right there. So we're gonna try to put that in the foreground and take the library behind. I think that's gonna be pretty cool. It's gonna be really nice, I think. I'm glad I came out. Right away, when I stepped out the door, I knew this is gonna be good. But yeah, you can see here really nicely some colors. I'm gonna see what we can do here. No, I'm not sure. Let's see. Oh, that looks actually amazing. Yeah, that is really cool. I forgot to lock the scooter. <laughs> I'm glad I wasn't that far away. I opened my phone and realized that, damn, it's still open. So let's go close that one and then go back. I know that the library, really good reflection at the front door. Maybe trying to get someone walking out and as you can see there's a lot of glass buildings all around so reflections are a definite here in Helsinki so here we got the first glass let's see that's pretty cool I like the way the glass reflects if you can see it Because it's round, it does give it a little bit extra. Let's go wide. Okay, yeah, this is beautiful. It's not a perfect reflection, but let's put it in the center. Let's see if we can get him inside. See F5.0 ISO 640 1 over 800. Let's turn it a bit. 
that is kind of cool kind of cool not sure what i'm thinking about it no he fucked it up for me Closer and go wider that might give us the loop that I'm going for Let's see it should be green and it's not soon now it needs to be like this oh that looks pretty cool we got a trim Okay, so I'm gonna go to the Esplanade Park and hopefully there's some colors left. Maybe there's some guy in the window. Nope, no one. Some nice backlighting. There's a lot of people outside right now. Here we have the famous shopping street in Finland. Alexander Uh No cars are allowed here, so it's all trams basically. Maybe taxis, but there's not many of them. I think I managed to get something cool here. I'm gonna try to get a picture through both windows. No. Too many stripes on the window. The thing is I've been shooting so much downtown here so I felt like I've shot like every single corner there is but then again my editing style is different now. I think I'm a little bit better in a way with settings and all that so yeah this is it's hard. It's hard for me to come up with something new, like something totally new that would genuinely excite me to, be, to get that like wow shot. Now here's a Starbucks and everything, maybe a guy, guy drinking coffee or something. So there's like too many people here right now. I love like simple shots. But I can't get simple shots at the moment because just too many people hassling around. And of course, we're just gonna jump over here. Of course, that's like when the sun sets, the clouds come, we don't get any sun. Of course. But now we're talking about simple shots. Let's see if we could get something better from this side. Oh, yeah. Now we're talking. A bit up. We got nice leading lines of the benches. The trash man looks trash, obviously. But yeah, this is. It's gonna be good. I know this. I have everything cropped in at the moment, so I think I might even change up to the 70 to 180. Now, let's keep going with this one. Try, I'm gonna try not to crop in. Uh, yeah, just try, try not to crop in to get like the full 28 to 75 experience. We could get these two walking in the middle and this one in the foreground. Do da, do da. Oh, that's. I think that's gonna look really good. I don't actually sure what that is. I think it's some kind of kiosk, but I'm not really sure. Going full wide, uh, about <laughs> full wide. We're about 40 mil 
This is 28 mil. Let's see how that turns out. Come on, come on. Simple, beautiful. Get out of the way. Let's crop in even better. Okay, now when she stands there alone, let's take her into frame. Oh, I can see puddles. Let's go find puddles. There's a cool puddle. <laughs> puddle game. Yeah, no. Nope, nope, nope. Here's another one of these kiosks. Just gonna try to get a simple picture of fuck the car behind it. If we crop in. Uh, shoot. We got a perfect. Not perfect, but we got a sunset on the boulevard. It looks pretty dope, but I don't know if you can see it, but it's right there up front. Actually, look, I used the app called Golden Hour, and there you can see exactly like where the sun is setting. So it's really good. And then I have this sun tracker that can show you exactly. Let me show you an example. It's based on augmented reality. So as we get up to where you can see something, I'm gonna show you how it works. You need to pay, I think it's like one euro or 160 or something like that, but it's been so useful. Same thing with the Kelvin app, shows you exactly what white balance to use. I use that often when I, I do video, now at photography, not that often, but here you can see now. There you can see how the sun rises up there at 9, goes that way and goes right that. I mean, look at those colors, that's perfect. Time to do some sketchy shit, ooh ah, ooh ah. Time to do some sketchy shit, ooh ah, ooh ah. Oh shit, I got a red light. My shoe almost fell out at the same time. Fuck, we're good. Could have been nice, but people are so looking like, you know, they look at you like, what the fuck you're doing? I don't want to get that look. I don't. I don't like Finnish people. So sketchy. Looks like they're gonna kill you right away when they see a camera. Try to get a picture of that bird. It'd be cool if it would be flying away. Hopefully, someone scares it. Oh fuck. I was late. Some colors. Ah, and a container in the background. Beautiful. saw this from but this is actually a really cool shot there's a nice bakery I can take some pictures inside of that
we'll get like a couple or a single person or a person with a dog in the middle of that road it's a beautiful light oh shit look at that take off the tram use this car as a foreground something out this right here could be used as a frame if that car wasn't there and that oh god the container in the middle of everything. Come on guys. Yeah. Some beautiful light. Beautiful, beautiful light. here the villain are actually really nice because if they see you like in the middle of the train track they are gonna slow down they are gonna let you take the picture but keep in mind they're doing their job they need to be on time so take a picture get off but they will slow down if you want to take pictures to get something done and I got something done uh, hopefully you can see something from the POV I haven't done that in a while actually I don't, I'm not sure maybe I've done something with the GoPro otherwise with the Insta360 that's it for today's video thank you all for following along and as I said I haven't been in a really long time out shooting in the city so this was uh, actually really big for me because that's how it all started how I learned photography and it feels like I've shot the whole 
city, like every single corner. So it was nice to like a little bit challenge myself. And to be honest, I liked it. And hopefully you did too. So please remember to like and subscribe to the channel. Go check out my Instagram at Kimmy.Elias. And just look at these colors. Still got some fall here. It's beautiful. It's not that cold. Even if I have like a proper jacket on and everything. I'm really warm at the moment. But that's probably because I've been walking around so much. We're going to Thailand in a couple of months. So make sure to like and subscribe to the channel because there's gonna be epic content that I promise. Hopefully you enjoyed this little POV of me challenging myself. See you in the next video. Peace.